Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Uh, this topic came up uh, a couple of weeks back in uh, one of my live streams, and it was about uh, medicinal plants, home remedies, that kind of stuff. And uh, there is a particular part of uh, the plant that is uh, the most medicinal when it comes to uh, trees, and I want to show you guys that. And uh, another thing that I wanted to uh, mention, I seen it in a video, I think it was on uh, Facebook, they had a uh, lady on there. She was talking about making a medicinal salve or something out of a uh, plant. And the first thing she did in the video was jerk the plant up out of the ground. And I'm here to tell you, you never want to kill the plant if uh, you plan on using that plant for medicinal purposes. And uh, that is sort of the native way of uh, doing it. And... Uh, yeah, you just just don't do it. Don't uh, don't kill the plant. You take what you need from the plant, uh, but you uh, you leave the rest of the plant uh, alone. And that goes with pretty much anything that you're using uh, medicinally. You know, take one leaf off of ten different plants instead of ten leaves off of uh, one plant, so to speak. Anyway, um, that's just something that I wanted to tell you guys. But this guy right here bring in the camera a little closer this is a northern prickly ash and it is uh an extremely medicinal plant and uh like all medicinal trees the uh phloem is the most medicinal part of it and the phloem is your uh the inner bark what we would call the inner bark i guess and uh I wanted to do this video in particular, you know, because everybody's area is going to be different, you know, when you're talking about the different trees and stuff that grow in your area. So then, you know, you guys can look up in your area, the plants and the trees that are around your area. You know, if you have willow or you have, you know, different oaks or whatever, you can... Um, look at what those medicinal uh, trees and stuff are, and then you can kind of go from there and, uh, you know, utilize the phloem of those uh, uh, plants. But anyway, I'm going to kind of show you here how to harvest that uh, and how to get that uh, bark off there so you can use it. All right, guys, I uh, took a small branch off of one of these trees. You can see there's all kinds of them here in uh, the background. And, uh, if it's a green shoot, this is a little bit a uh, harder shoot right here. This is an older, an older piece of the uh, tree. But if it's a green shoot, you can uh, sometimes just run your knife edge along uh, the center of it and then sort of peel that bark off. And when they're a harder, older uh, branch like this right here, you would just take your knife and you would shave off the small um pieces of the bark and then you're going to have small shavings and then that's what you would actually use um, when you're making your tea or your tincture or anything uh, like that and even if they're really really small twigs you can just use them the uh, way they are because they're pretty much uh, all bark at uh, that point but uh, that's kind of what they look like here. I uh, harvested that, Let's see if I can get the focus to come in here, by basically just beaver chewing around uh, the outside edge of that stick with my knife. It's another reason why you want to have a good sharp knife in your pack so you can actually utilize some of the resources that are around you. And that right there is uh, the inner bark. That's the phloem of the uh, prickly ash. And you can see there, I just sort of peeled that back in uh, sort of that star pattern there. And those uh, shavings can be cut off that. You could strip all of this off of this um, stick here, and then you can go ahead and uh, use it for its in, uh, intended purpose. And actually, uh, northern prickly ash is an old-time um, toothache remedy. You would uh, either suck or chew on these pieces of uh, this... Uh, bark this uh, phloem here and that actually uh, numbs uh, toothache pain and uh, that's why I kind of wanted to show you guys what the phloem looks like so if you have you know different uh, small trees and stuff that are in brushy areas in uh, your area you could sort of uh, you utilize that technique to uh, harvest that stuff for yourself but anyway this is modern refugee just uh, out here showing you guys a little uh few little tips on uh, medicinal plants. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys always get some information, some entertainment out of my videos. You guys have a good one.